Okay, so we're going to catch up with Keegan Randall to talk with her about today's awesome <clears throat> result from the, the American women uh, with their historic podium and uh, um, in uh, Galvar, Sweden. And uh, I think we have Keegan on the line. Keegan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's a pretty pretty fun day here in Galvar. Yeah, you guys really know how to put on an exciting race, let me tell you. Yeah, we well, we wouldn't have it any other way. We, uh, we like to be brash and exciting, and uh, we knew we just uh, were waiting for the right day to put it all together, and we finally did it. Well, today was really an awesome day. I mean, uh, you know, just sitting here watching the race unfold, uh, you guys just put the hammer down and, and uh, really showed what, what you're made of. Um, uh, walk us through, uh, you know, your section of the race. I mean, Holly started off with a great... Uh, you know, keeping you guys right in the mix, uh, eight seconds off the front, and, and you had a fabulous leg. Uh, talk to us about your leg. Yeah, well, uh, we knew that the first leg was going to be critical, staying out of trouble. I mean, there's always a lot of jockeying for position and crashes and things like that that can happen on the first leg, so it was nice to have Holly in there with, uh, you know, uh, some good experience, uh, having done the, the opening leg for us in Nova Mesto last year. So I was really psyched that she kept us in the mix, and uh, I knew I had a little bit of work to do once I took the tag. So I uh, tried to conserve a little bit of energy early on so that I could come on strong over the second half, and was pretty happy to have made up some ground um, by the first lap of the race and got in with a Sweden 2, or actually Sweden 1 and Norway 2, and I was skiing along with them for a little bit and then took a really good line around a corner um, and all of a sudden got in front of those guys and then was just like, wow, I'm feeling really good. And I kind of looked up all of a sudden and saw that Johag wasn't that far ahead. Yeah. And uh, I didn't realize we were we were that close. So I just was super psyched to feel really strong today and then tagged off to Liz and she did an amazing job of closing the gap up to Norway even more and then tagged off to Jesse and we, we all knew Jesse was capable, We but uh, there's a lot of pressure riding on that last leg. So it was pretty cool to see her dig, uh, dig an extra level um, and come out and bring us all the way to the line. And uh, I have to say, watching her across the line and everybody coming together was a pretty big wave of emotion. So everything we thought it would be, and uh, we're pretty psyched. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure the the feeling was it was the same everywhere. You know, watching Jesse come down the line and and uh, neck to neck and neck with uh, Christofferson and, and then take it. Uh, definitely an awesome feeling. Um, you had a, a superb leg. I mean, you had the fastest uh, classic leg of, of everybody today, and uh, that just speaks uh, volumes about where you're at, and, and obviously you had great skis, and, uh, you know, you had to feel great out there. Yeah, well, it was pretty interesting talking with my ski tech last night. Um, you know, he said, well, we pulled out just about everything because it could be anything tomorrow. We had stuff for if it was powder. We had stuff if it was Harry's. We had stuff if it was Clister. And um, so it was really nice to get out there in the morning and be able to dial in the skis really easily. That gave me a lot of confidence. Um, and then once I got out there in the leg, I just I felt great again, really strong. And uh, it's really fun to race when you feel like your body's totally firing and I'm just, just so psyched to be back on my skis again after spending time on the bike and in the pool. Uh, so I think that just that joy of skiing is carrying me through right now. Absolutely. You had to feel good when you saw that Yoha, you were gaining ground on her. I mean, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty tall order, and uh, you, you, know, you were up for it. Yeah, well, thankfully I've had some really good experience in some of the, the past relays, so I've been getting more and more comfortable with uh, skiing with the girls I'm around, and, and now I know that I can uh, make some some good moves during the race so I kind of predicted about where I wanted to try to make a move today and I was happy to be in the right position to really go for it so I'm really looking forward to the fact that we get a couple more chances at this relay before the season ends yeah absolutely the uh, the other girls really came to the table and yeah. and delivered strong I mean Liz had a superb leg and, and of course uh, you know Jesse you know nailed it so uh, your first podium and uh, lots more to come yeah, I think it was the socks. I think it was all about the socks today. We were the we we're the only team out there with uh, some good team unity on the costumes, so that was uh, really fun. Those those socks have been uh, they were in Milan with Jesse and I on the podium last year, and then we sent them off to World Juniors, and the girls wore them there. So that pair of socks, um, you know, we got four pairs, and um, you know, we wish we could be outfitting all of our team. You know, we've got 
Ida was out there cheering for us like crazy today, um, and she definitely boosted us. I mean, Jesse said that she could he really hear Ida's words there in the last K. Um, that helped her kind of dig one more level. So really, really inspiring uh, to see the energy on the team right now. Absolutely, and there's no question those socks were, were knockout socks, definitely. <laughs> we, we appreciated them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, listen. That's that's fabulous, Keegan. We want to thank you for taking uh, time with us and uh, sharing your thoughts on today's race. It's uh, it's awesome. I, I know that uh, you're inspiring. Uh, you know all the North American uh, skiers. Uh, you know the. I talked to the Canadians today, and, and they were watching. And, and I think Lenny said he had to stop what he was doing to watch the end of the race because it was just so exciting. So it's, cool. Uh, it's really well, cool. We got we got a message from uh, from a parent back in the states that woke their seven year old daughter up at four a.m. just to watch our race, and he said it was well worth it. So stuff like that really just keeps us going, and uh, it's really fun to hear hear all the excitement coming back from North America. And we're really excited that we'll be back uh, in North America in a, in a week or so. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to it as well. Okay, well, great. Thanks for your time. Yeah, I'll hand you off to Liz here. Okay, great.